This goes out to Willie the Neutral Rat. The reactor. The one that can't keep their nose on their fucking face. So willing to put their nose in other shit. Ain't got nothing to do with them. Quick to put their nose where it don't belong. They ain't gonna get mad. How about the backfash? Gonna get mad about what I'm about to say. But what I'm about to say is true. See, that's why they went in my inbox talking shit. And then it blocks me. Right after they unblocked me to send me a message. They blocked me again. Talking crap. Wonder why their own kids don't even want to live with them. Because their own kids don't even feel safe with them. Because their own kids know about the drama they start. And this is a proud example of the drama they start. Because they up in my messenger. Talking about shit ain't got nothing to do with them. Trying to take up for a deadbeat baby mama. That wants to say it's okay to teach a nine year old to sell drugs. Wants to be that it's okay that a nine year old knows what meth looks like. And tell you what meth looks like. But that's okay right. You know, yeah, so let's get something clear that's been clear for, let's say, since 2021, 2020. This shit's been said out there that I'm a fucking no pothead. I have no shame that I smoke weed. But let's get something right. I got a metal cord for it. It's not technically a drug. That's for one. For two, is I don't do it right in front of fucking in front of my kids. I don't tell my kids, hey, this is what you should be doing. This is okay. No, I, I don't do none of that. And one thing is, I'm, I don't condone to nobody should condone to saying hey it's okay to teach a nine-year-old to sell drugs it's okay to teach a nine-year-old to do this and that and wonder why they ain't got their own kids wonder why their own kids don't live because they were willing out here to take care of a deadbeat baby mama that's trying to say it's okay to teach her nine-year-old to sell drugs that don't even give a shit about their own nine their own fucking kids and proud fucking example because the same motherfucker that's in my comments Mr. fucking neutral rat wanna be talking shit ain't got fucking cuss his own kids don't even give a fuck got kids out there he don't fucking know kids that don't even know who he is they ain't got nothing to do with it fucking piece of shit right yeah but I always want to come talk about everybody else when they was the one they want to talk about cop caller cop caller motherfucker put a strainer on me a strain order on me a strain order on me and then cross their own fucking strain order then try to put me in jail Crossing the own train or there they sent their wife to court. I was in court, I swear to God, every other month for about four months in a row because they put a strain order on me and kept trying to bring me to court for it. Not only kept trying to bring me to court, but every other month I was in court for stupid childish shit. And then when they crossed the owner's train or knew that it was fucked, they didn't want to go to court. No, they sent their wife to go look like a retard and a dumbass with a fucking clipboard. And then swerping down that they was done with all the, the court bullshit, this and that. Because uh, they was doing, they was calling the cops on me every other day. Every time I posted a video on YouTube, they called the fucking cops. Every time I went to fucking Walmart and Eunice, they called the fucking cops. It didn't matter what it was, they was calling the fucking cops. I remember when they called the cops on me and my son. And was all over YouTube swerving up and down. They was uh, having a warrant out for my arrest. They was going to put me in jail and all this and that. And then when they made a video putting my kid's name, my street name, my whole government name on there, why they had a strain order on them, and then the cops went arrest they ass because the cops was watching they shit. They want to blame other motherfucking people. Learn how to grow up and take your own blame. That's why you went block me, said what you had to say, then blocked me back because you didn't want to hear what I had to say because, see, I was going to speak the truth. And that's why they say go to YouTube and say, my kids, they say, I'm sorry, my kids very safe. Where's yours at, huh? Yours is all the way in New York with the mama because they feel safer with their own mama than with you. Hmm. Before you speak lies, I want to make sure you speak the facts. And then let's get something right. want to get the ass beat twice already. And then say they beat my ass, but yet. All because they hit me more than once, but more than me or whatever. But who was in the ditch hollering, let me up? Who was in the ditch hollering, no holding, no holding, this is a street fight, no holding. Fucking like whole street fight. Who hollers, no holding? And for one, I had a whole brand new shirt on that they ripped. It's funny, it's funny how motherfuckers want to come um, block me. I mean, unblock me, talk all this big shit, and then block me again. Because they didn't want to hear the truth. And they want to talk all this big bad shit about, oh, when I go to you on a... 
I've been right around you this long. How long now? How, how many times have I seen them? Never. But they didn't want to talk about me, but at least I can afford all four of my rims. You don't see me riding around with fucking three rims and then a factory fucking rim, huh? What the fuck? Yeah, like the fuck they want to talk shit to me, but at least I can afford all four of my rims. Like my Tahoe has all four rims. I ain't riding around with three rims and then a factory rim for almost three, two years now. Three years. But hey, motherfuckers will talk shit. Motherfuckers will try to spread lies and rumors. And come all up in your shit and say they ain't doing it, but they, they started with you, right? Can't keep that on their fucking face to save their goddamn life. They so willing to come up in my shit and run their mouth and then get mad what I say. And then say, go to YouTube. I don't do YouTube no more. No, of course you don't. Because I done blast y'all over YouTube and confronted your lies that you literally went and delete your YouTube. Because you got chicken shit. So, hey, have at it. Call the cops, do what you gotta do. Call everybody else, say I'm this, say I'm that. But at the end of the day, you're a piece of shit. You are. Wonder why your kids don't, kids don't wanna live with you. Because they don't feel safe with your ass. At least my kids know I don't go around fucking starting trouble with people. And instead of passing by people's houses, trying to video their houses and talking shit. And doing all this and that. And then video them when they... I won't video when they're outside, but video when they're inside. To try to make it seem like they're scared. You know, straight up coward people like that. Wanna talk shit to me. But then want to get mad when I'm a blast they old lady and all this and that all over YouTube because they can't keep they, this on their face and quit spreading lies. Be an adult, learn how to stick up for yourself and learn how to <clears throat> grow up and take your own blame and stop blaming everybody else and blaming everything on everybody else. Still talking about the same shit that happened back in 2021. It's a, it's a fuck. We ain't in the past no more, man. We in 2024, the whole new president. The fuck? Man, people grow up, learn to live your lives, and quit sucking on big donkey dick.